Roger Maris Shipbox. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my pal Alex and Feisty Pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. Son's Feisty Pants. He's in school there. I'm waiting to pick him up. But, uh, you know, I stopped at uh, Walgreens for some fine drinks and snacks, and I said, oh, let me see what kind of cards are over there. Roger Maris on the front of the shit box. Now, I don't understand... I gotta, I gotta open the box and find out why he's on the Cardinals. I think it's probably, like, where they started out. But I, I always thought he was a lifelong Yankee. I could be wrong. Um, somebody will correct me and then shame me for not being a true Yankees fan. Right here, pal. I know who you are. <laughs> it could be anybody. Um, the thing about the shit box is, like, these things are glued shut. You can't open these. Not, not without, like, ah, twisting a knuckle and requiring, you know, surgery probably and then you can't open it anyway and then uh and then you damage the one card you wanted out of there <laughs> all right so it's Fleer greats uh let's see if we got a year here uh 2004 Fleer greats yeah look at that before he came to the yankees he finished with the cardinals oh how about that but he came up with the indians in 57 indians a's in 58, A's 59, and then 1960 came to the Yankees where all his glorified years were justified. And um, and then in 67, 68, played with the Cardinals. I don't know if you can see that. Try to focus the, ca I don't know, maybe I can't, maybe it's me, but look at that. Roger Maris on the freaking Cardinals. All right. Oh my God, it's Gary Carter. It's, oh, it's not even a card. It's, it's a box panel. All right, so here's Gary Carter. This is uh, 86 Fleer Gary Carter. Now, if you look at the back, it says C7 for his card number. That was called, they were like, the boxes were like numbered, A, B, C, you know what I'm saying? So this was the third box, card number seven in the set of however many there were. Usually there were four, um, but wow. And it's a little thicker than a regular card because it's the box, not the actual card. But they actually cut it down. And I, I don't know if you could see... I'm shining the light on it. I don't know if you could see the like the wear on the front. But you usually, you never found one of these in perfect condition. Because the box sat on the bottom. Which is what faced out. Um, yeah, yeah. Dave Winfield, pretty cool. Tony Gwynn, also pretty cool. But 1992. Dwight Gooden. Back when he was an all-star. 200 strikeouts that year. Earned him an all-star all -star vote. And uh, Elliot Maddox. I don't even know who this guy is. All right, but let's go through the rest of the, of the pile here. And uh, we'll take a look here. Wow, 86 Donruss. Nothing like getting 86 Donruss, but then getting doubles of 86 Donruss. Wally Backman. Well, yeah, that's probably a rookie, I think. No, no, wrong. 82, 82, 80, he came up in 81. So 82 would have been his rookie year. Wow, this is a Mets box, because I got, Wally Backman, you know, was on the Mets there, and that John Christensen pair of doubles was on the Mets. Gooden on the Mets. John Franco on the Mets. Now, this is 94, 96 flare, Fleer flare, but it's a refractor. I mean, look at the, Look at the shine on the card. Can you... Yeah, there it goes. You could see it. Wow. That's garbage. Roy Lee Jackson. Ron Darling. <laughs> I love Ron Darling. He's great He's great on commentary. Uh, Daryl Strawberry. It was probably like $5 back in the day. Look at this. Ron Hodges. Here's another older one, John Stern. This is like a freaking Mets box. I don't want this shit. Where are the Yankees? Minnesota Twins. Wow, LaTroy Hawkins. That's like a... I don't even know what the hell that is. Is that minor league card? No, it's Fleer. Wow, Fleer is just very colorful. 95 Fleer, Terry Shumpert, and LaTroy Hawkins. Very colorful. Colorful on the back. Ray McDavid. Greg Gagne. Wow, that's an Upper Deck SP. That's probably hard to get. Somebody need this? <laughs> Vinny Castilla. Bernie 
Williams. Yeah, baby. Here are the Yankees I'm looking for. Bernie freaking Williams. Love that man. Jacob Brumfield. I remember that guy. Phil Nevin. I remember that guy. Kurt Stillwell. Came up with the Royals, I think. Chris Nabholes. Look at that. Who cares? This is the doubles box. Willie Wilson. <laughs> Retirement card, probably. He played a long time. Eric Anthony, Mario Ramirez, Mike Jackson. Cecil Fielder. All chewed up on the corner and everything. Look at that. But that's Donruss Gold. It's the. It used to be. Uh, this was the the gold edition. Oh, there's a lot of sun here. This is the gold edition, and the card on the back is numbered gold. They were uh, regular printed back in the day without the gold, and that was like the regular issue. Scott Service on the floor. Scott Forster, draft pick card. This is. I don't even know what this is. Top Stadium Club. Oh yeah, yeah. Top Stadium Club logo right there. Get Scott Service off the floor. Uh, who do we got here? Greg Gagne. <laughs> I don't even know who this is. Who's that? I don't even know. This looks pretty cool. Mark Langston, Leaf Limited. Like if you had a card on Leaf Limited, that was me. That meant you were worth something. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I gotta situate this bag so I can. Accommodate the garbage. Where a lot of those Mets players' careers went. But you know, people bounce back. I'm I'm glad and I'm glad they did because I mean they were all very good players. I I really got into baseball when the Mets won in um the series in eighty six and then I was like, oh. And then everybody they, they lost a bunch of players the following year and and uh you know, and then what it was. And then I realized the Yankees were the team to follow, even though they sucked for a whole lot of years. That's okay. And look at them now. Todd Worrell. Wow. Larry Herndon. Now, is that a Fleer update? Because they usually do that. Nope, those are regular Fleer. This is very fancy looking. Fleer Showcase. Pedro Martinez. Wow, that's kind of cool. Who knows Pedro Martinez on the show? I'll save this. I'll mail it out. That's pretty cool. Hit me in the comments or hit me on Twitter. Nineteen eighty-eight. I started buying cards for myself instead of just trading. You know, for uh, having my good looks pay for everything. <laughs> but uh, eighty-eight score was the one that I bought. Because everybody was like, ah, Tops this, and Top sucks, and Donra sucks, and Fleer sucks, and score! It was awesome! Here's another one, Dan Petrie. Pretty cool. Here's another Pedro Martinez. Upper deck. I guess, I guess regular upper deck. 97 upper deck, with like that wood border look on the bottom. I don't know. There was a period of time where uh, I just didn't really buy cards for like five years, and the... Like, all this stuff came along, and that was kind of cool, I guess. Sean Kelly. Oh, here's a Max Scherzer card, but it's a couple of years in. Pretty cool. He'll do good this year in the offseason with awards and stuff. Curtis Granderson, Grant Balfour. Sean Kelly. Wow. I remember when he pitched for the Yankees. It's not there anymore. Pretty cool. Was that Chris Headley? Chase Headley. Ah! Was that a Chase Headley rookie? Nope. That's cool. All right, this is pretty cool. There's a pack of Panini stickers. Opeachy. I'm sorry. Wrong wrong Canadian company. And I usually they're not stickers. I think Opeachy made cards. We'll have to check that out uh, later. After I sort through my pile of shit here in the shit box. Like, people get that wrong. Like, I call it a shit box because it's a card, it's a box full of shit, aside from the card on the front that they get you to buy it. And then the rest of the cards are good. Like, you know, the rest of the cards are shit, but the one on the front is the one you want. It's not shit. Wow. I I had, Jay Bell had a card like this. I had, like, pages of Jay Bell gold glove cards. Oh, it's cool. Jay Bell played on the Pirates with uh, Andy Van Slyke. 
Fred McGriff, the crime dog. Fred McGriff was one of those players that was just awesome. You were just like, man, I got a pitch to Fred McGriff. Dang. Dang. Dang, dang. A lot of these cards are just awful. <laughs> I'm just throwing them right by. Oh, Phil Hughes. That's cool. I, You know, when he came up with the Yankees, I, I really wish he was going to be something. And then, of course, after they traded him, you know, he had some success. But whatever. Can't have everything, I guess. Oh, here's another pair of doubles. Kevin Slowey. That's cool. I'm going to email the company of the shitbox and be like, look. I bought a shit box and I got three, four sets of doubles in there. What the hell? Maybe they'll send me a shit box for my troubles. Dan Quisenberry. He had a vicious sidearm back in the day. Burt Bly 11. That's cool. He played all over the place. Twins. A lot of times with the Twins. Indians, Rangers, Pirates, Angels. Turney Tony Bernazard, Terry Harper, Mike Witt, Kelly Gruber. Wow. Wow. Dan. Here's another Dan Quisenberry with the Royals. 85 tops. I hated 85 tops because I couldn't read the back clearly. I really had a fight to, to read that. And it was just a weird shade of green that my eyes weren't picking up. And it was like, damn it. All right. Uh, opening up. Opeachy, 1991 Opeachy baseball cards. Back when everybody was like, Opeachy, I need Opeachy. And we'll charge double for it because it's Canadian. And we're like, what? They don't even make everybody. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Here's, here's the, like, the five cards in the pack. Luis Soho. Ozzy Smith over here. Roberto Alomar is kind of cool. Yeah, let's do it this way. Luis Soho. Very nice. Pat Tabler. He he was clutch coming off the bench. I remember he had like a batting average over 500 coming off the bench. Vince Coleman. Dale Murphy. Roberto Alomar. He was pretty good. Ozzy Smith. Yeah, he's all right. But look at this. Barry Bonds. Oh, on the Pirates when he before he started cheating. You know what we do to cheaters, right? Oh, shit, what happened to that card, Barry? Oh, oh, you fucking bastard. And that's what we do to cheaters. 